Hello, hello, happy Mother's Day, everyone. This is Daniela Bloom coming to you live from Los Angeles. Okay, um, I wanted to come on my personal page uh, because I wanted to say things to a lot of friends and family that I don't normally get to connect with on a regular basis. Um, and it's easier for me to connect here um, not just through my business page, but through my personal page. So here are some of my thoughts. Um, Mother's Day is a very special day for moms. And I feel like it is important uh, for you to understand why. Uh, especially if you're a single mom or know a single mom, why it's so important to take the time to pause and acknowledge them. I was um, in an Uber pool recently. I love Uber pool. Um, you meet the craziest people, the funnest people, and it just gives you a sense of connection and community because you never know who's gonna come in your car, you don't know who's driving your car, you don't know what their story is, and I just feel it's a phenomenal way of connecting and, and practicing your people skills. I feel like it's a, a mini version of New York subways, although people tell me, and I've seen it myself, that no one really talks on a New York subway. But even still, you are bringing, people are coming into your reality that you would maybe otherwise not have a conversation with. And there's so much you can learn and connect with. It's amazing. So I was in this Uber pool. I was going all the way from Marina del Rey to the Valley. Um, so I didn't want to pay the exorbitant amount of money to go direct. So I decided to take the pool. And my driver, Martin, was a character. And I pretty much got to know his life story before Anna came into the car. And before Anna came into the car, I decided to take the back seat. I usually take the front seat because I like to charge my phone. But in this case, I took the back seat. And he said, quickly, quickly, let's make a bet that she's going to um, go into the front seat first and not the back seat. And I'm like, no, she's, yes, yeah, she's going to, I mean, no, he said she was going to go into the back seat. And I'm like, of course she's going to go into the front seat. So I'm like, okay, you're on. So Anna approached the car and she um, was about to go into the back seat, but at the last second changed her mind and went to the front seat. And Martin and I laughed and he knew that I had won the bet. So we dropped Anna off and he's like, okay, so what, 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 what are you going to collect? What are you going to do? And at this point, I knew everything essential about him. I knew that he had um, two beautiful children from two different um, moms, two different baby mamas. And I said, okay, since I won, this is what you have to do. You have to call each of the mothers of your children and say to them, happy Mother's Day. I want to especially thank you for all the things that you do for our children that I don't see that you do. And he got really silent and he's like, oh, that's good. I don't know if I can do it, but that's a good one. And I said, Martin, you lost, you have to do it. And he's like, you know what? I am gonna do it. And he's like, in fact, let's connect on Instagram so you can call me out on it when it is um, Mother's Day to make sure I'm accountable. So I love that. So we're connected on Instagram. but. It is so true. Um, you know, oftentimes when a couple separates, there's a lot of hurt feelings, anger, animosity, but what doesn't change is the children and giving them the love and support that they need. And both parents are doing that in their own collective ways. And obviously the other parent is really not there to witness it. So to take the time, and especially with a, a single mom who has to do it all. Uh, get back on her feet, grow a new business, be emotionally there for her kids. And it's not always perfect. It is so lovely to be acknowledged on Mother's Day especially. And it's important to be acknowledged, and acknowledge all mothers regardless of whether they're single, married, or divorced. Um, mothers really are the nucleus of the family. And when a mom is in her element, when she is living life to the fullest again, it has a ripple effect to everyone else around her. That's why it's so essential for mothers today to plug into the forgotten woman within, 
not just their labels. Okay, they've manifested what they've always wanted. Maybe their wives, their mothers, they're into their careers, but who are they as women? And when we go back into that energy of receiving and being open and being spontaneous and knowing that we actually do matter just, just as who we are, not just because we are givers, uh, not just because we are nurturers, but because of who we are, we're seen for who we are, is a very, very powerful message to give a mother. Um, m mothers want to be seen as, as children of God, as, as people still trying to actualize and leave an impact and, and keep going. And when you can pause and see them for who they are, and what they've been trying to be seen as, it's a very, very powerful gift. So to all mothers out there, happy, happy Mother's Day. I know what it means to be a mother today, to have so many balls in the air and you're not gonna do it perfectly. Uh, and that's okay, because we want to raise children who don't feel that they have to be perfect either. I always like to say, find the humor, find the fun and dysfunction. Um, it's so important to be grateful for the moments that are beautiful that work. Like yesterday when my children brought me breakfast in bed, that was a beautiful moment. But I'm not gonna perpetuate this illusion that it's always like that. You know, uh, our kids can drive us crazy. It's issues that we have no control over can give us sleepless nights. But stopping and taking the moment to say, this was a great moment, this was working well, and I do matter, and I am enough, and even if it's not perfect, we're meant to be whole, not perfect. So that is my wish for all you mothers out there today. And for those of you who know mothers in, in your life, I can tell you firsthand, when you, even just a text of receiving Happy Mother's Day from someone unex unexpected, really, really it makes a huge, huge difference and it doesn't take a lot of time. So happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much for joining me. My kids are in Hebrew school so I have an hour to do this. Um, by the way, this morning I got such a gift from my kids. Uh, I re it was, was able to record a video of them. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it on later. Um, Ava, my, my 10 year old, who's like 10 going on 20, um, she's like the atheist and my six-year-old son Adam is the staunch believer and my daughter Aura who uh, makes it all uh, make sense wasn't there uh, in doing this conversation it was really between Ava and Adam and the conversation that ensued really encapsulates all of the struggle we have as human beings as a race in terms of what I believe, what you should believe, how can you believe in God, how can you not believe in God, I don't think you're right, I don't think you're right, um, but from the mouths of babes <laughs> is so precious and so enlightening. So um, I may just put the video on here as well because it was a gift to me and it could be a gift to many of you too because we felt both sides. Um, anyway, uh, I love being able to connect with you all here. I know it's not as personal but I love seeing the comments and I respond to every one of them. And I, my wish for you is that you keep expanding, you keep moving forward, you keep connecting with what lights you up. Because when you're having more fun and you're living in your best life ever, you are an example to others. And it's not always easy. We can be flying and flying and flying and then take a big dip, but that's, that's part of life. That is what makes it so delicious. When we do manifest our goals, we know the journey that has gotten us there. And with that, um, enjoy today. It's a beautiful day in California. Lots of love and light. Happy Mother's Day.